this is how the things would be happening in system. So this is your external customer. Okay, this external customer is giving you a purchase order. As soon as he give you the purchase order, you would be creating a sales order. Okay, here I will tell you that what process can be done automatically and what would be manual. This would be manual. This also can happen with the automation in S4 HANA. If a customer has given you a email, that email can be converted and auto sales order can be punched. That functionality also is there. Maybe that functionality I would be also talking about in my SD excellence. So this would be manually created. A sales order would be manually created. As soon as we manually create the sales order in this intercompany sales process, we would be having an intercompany purchase order and this would be automatically created. An auto intercompany purchase order would be created. As soon as intercompany purchase order is created, in your delivering company, company code 1010 is delivering and company code 1710 is actually having an order. Actual delivery is happening from 1010. At fourth point, system would be automatically creating a intercompany sales order. How technically at the back end it would be happening, what technology has been used, what mass data has been used, what configuration is required, would be covering in our detail SD excellence sessions. Okay. But here the intercompany sales order would be created. Now from intercompany sales order, when, once it has been created, we would be creating a outbound delivery. Now outbound delivery, you need to make sure the outbound delivery is happening basically against the this sales order. Because in this sales order, we need to mention it. In the line item, we need to mention that it is coming from plant 1010 and from my shipping point 1010 it is coming. That I would be mentioning. So actually, when you will create a delivery from this sales order line item, the delivery would automatically create it in your 1010 plant. But the major reference for this delivery would be this sales order. This sales order would be having a major reference to this delivery. But you can see the dotted line. From the data flow perspective, this delivery would also link with this sales order. So this delivery would be cre creating it. That would be again a manual step. We would be creating a delivery. And then we would be actually delivering the stock to the customer. And customer would be doing a good result. After the delivery, you need to do the steps like uh, stock transfers. Uh, you need to do the goods issue. So we would be having a step here where you will be doing a goods issue against the delivery after doing the picking. This step is also manual. Okay. Once you will be doing the goods issue from here, there can be the in transit also, it would be showing it. You can show that it is from in transit from 1010. Then it has got virtually recepted in the this plant. The GR would be happening. And then finally, the goods issue is happening. Stock is in transit for 1710, 1711. And then the goods is basically transferring it from 1711 to your customer. So there is a transit plant, we need to mention it. And this transit plant would be mentioned in this sales order. The additional field will be there. That what is the delivery is happening from 1010, but what is the transit plant? That transit plant, we will be mentioning it one seven in the sales order itself. And with that, so this full process uh, in the goods issue, this full process, the in transit process and the good receipt, and then going moving from the in transit plant to the customer, would be can happen with the automations would be happening with this GA automation. Tuck, 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 tuck. This can be shown in the system and the full process chain value chain would be built in the system. Okay. Then you need to create an intercompany customer invoice uh, with reference to this sales order. We'll be creating an intercompany sales invoice. This would be a manual process. Manually, we need to raise the intercompany customer invoice. This can be also be automated with the bad jobs. That is a normal bad job you can put so that the whatever the sales order is becoming due, uh, automatic intercompany invoice can be created. So this can be also converted into the automation very easily. As soon as we do it, this invoice, a supplier invoice would be created. The Miro invoice would be created in 1710 and this would be with the automation. Okay, With the automation, the supplier invoice would be created in the system. Then you need to punch the invoice uh, to the customer. The invoice to the customer would be going here. This would also be a manual process we need to be creating. This process also can be easily automated. You can have a automation done for your customer invoices with the bad jobs. That's a standard process. You can also automate. So this process also you can automate. This process also you can automate. 
So in a highly automated process, what you are doing in this process, you are creating a sales order, you are doing outbound deliveries, and you are doing a goods issues. Only that thing you are doing. Sales order, outbound deliveries, and the goods issue, and rest all full process can be automated in the system. And you will have a full chain of the documents created in the system. When it has been moved, it has moved from a specific uh, place, specific uh, uh, from the another place, in transit, from in transit to your place, from your place to the customer place, that all virtual transaction can be built in the system to show the value stream, that how the value stream has happened between one system to another system. So this, you see the numbering here, this numbering denotes that the things which need to actually happen in sequence. And then you see the ABC, ABC is the invoices. Invoices might not be uh, linked with the sequence. You can create your customer invoice actually anytime. Right, So it might not be mandatory to follow the sequence for the ABC where it has been mentioned, but where 1, 2, 3 has been mentioned, that need to happen in sequence. And a lot of things would be there in automation. Okay, So the legends also, when you see this form line, right? So this form line is that the things has been created from the preceding documents. From this outbound delivery itself, here all these transactions would be getting created. And uh, uh, you see the dotted line. Dotted line means it's just having a reference to the data flow. So this reference to the data flow would be there. And this dotted line shows that the physical delivery. Physical delivery, although in system it is going from one plant to another plant, but physical delivery is happening directly to the external customer. Okay, that is your advanced intercompany sales process. Mm -hmm.